Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show you how to determine the denominator. First of all, you hear the word denominator, you know you're dealing with a fraction. Uh, when you hear the word denominator, hopefully you also hear the word numerator in your head because the two are very associated. If you were to see the fraction 1 fifth, the bottom number is your denominator. This is your denominator. Above, you have your numerator. The numerator goes above. Great. Done. So if you were to see a fraction, you'd know, well, the one down below is the denominator. The one above or north is the numerator. You can come up with whatever sort of um, device you want to, to remember that, but the denominator is down on the bottom, right? Now, how do you determine the denominator when you're looking at something that you're creating as a fraction? So if we were to have a candy bar and it were divided into one, two, three, four, five pieces, they would have to be equal pieces, not like what I've drawn here. But in order for a fraction to, um, to work, they have to be equal parts, right? So let's pretend that I drew this perfectly. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five parts. We can say that the denominator also represents the number of pieces in the whole. So the number of pieces in the whole is the denominator. And the numerator tells you how many of those pieces you get. So 1 fifth shows you 1 of the 5. Again, the bottom number here tells you how many pieces in the whole. So that's how you can determine the denominator in a fraction. I'm Beth, and fractions are fun, right?